Hello everyone. It's James again. And before I start today's video. I just want to quickly say. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith, otherwise known as Bigood4000, and was uniquely created with normal software, by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from Normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that I have that out of the way. I do hope your day is going way better than fantastic. And your journey to self-betterment is going way better than fantastic as well. Today I wanted to talk about a very important topic and a very important case. And this goes hand in hand with narcissism being different than let's say a sociopath. And we've talked about how these problems are oftentimes comorbid with one another. Where a narcissist might not only target someone for some sort of gain. They might do a horrifying crime. Where they might take the life of. Someone. Where no sane person could or would believe they won't get caught. But in the narcissist's mind. They will just figure it out much like they figured out all the other things in their life. Well in this case. We have a narcissist. Allegedly. Allegedly acting and behaving like a narcissist. Meaning. They target someone with friendship and fake love. In order to get close enough to them to get what it is they are looking for. But. But you have to ask yourself. If the situation were different. Let's say. She was the in-home caregiver for this person. Maybe she might put something in her friend's drink. Or maybe she might do something else. To end this person's life so she can make it off with the money. The point is. Depending on the situation. That overlap between being a thinking plotting narcissist. Down to an impulsive sociopath or psychopath can blur very fast. At least in my humble cartoon opinion. But with all that being said, this case also gives us something to pause and think about. Regarding ourselves, those that have been victims of all kinds of fraud that was done to us at the hands of the narcissist. And it's not just money we lost. We lost something even more important. And that is trust and time. Much like the victim in this case. So what happened? Well, this gem of a person behind me. Named Cecilia Frost is currently on the run. For allegedly befriending an 86-year-old woman that was going to the bank where Cecilia was a bank teller at. And over a short period of time. Stole either $140,000 or $180,000 from her. There are a few reports that say different amounts. But regardless. It's all a lot of money. And she left this elderly 86-year-old woman with a dollar and 50 cents to her name. Well. Cecilia is on the run now. Cecilia is on the run. And from the management at the bank they have stated is they have all of the crimes on camera. So saying allegedly at this point is kind of dumb. Because they have video proof of her putting this woman's money in boxes and stealing. You see. Here's the thing. Cecilia looks like a normal, average, happy person. She doesn't look like a thief. And you see this 86-year-old woman said she seen this woman Cecilia as a daughter. And they got really close. How much you want to bet? When this elderly woman came into the bank, she had trouble with doing certain banking transactions. And Cecilia offered to go above and beyond to help her out. Which I will tell you. That's what an honest person should do. And had that been all she did. Trust and believe that it's likely. Likely that this 86 year old woman would have remembered her friend the hard working bank teller when she one day passes away. Now you shouldn't go out of your way to help someone because you hope they will put you in their will. But when elderly people honestly care about someone younger than them. And they see them have potential in life. And they see the only thing stopping them is money. The older person oftentimes gives and helps this younger person much like they wished someone helped them when they were younger. 
but Cecilia never got a chance to see this type of generosity from her friend. Because she stole all of her friend's money. Except one dollar and fifty cents. You just can't make this stuff up. But look people. This is what makes people like Cecilia Brown and others like her dangerous. They are so delusional that they don't even realize they are going to get caught. This woman is on the run. Where is she going to go? How is she going to enjoy the money she stole? And that's the problem with societal narcissism. Because the evil of the narcissist has become so accepted in society. And they get away with so much. They feel and convince themselves this grand plan will work out just like all of their other evil deeds. They will just explain it this way. Or they will explain it that way if questioned. And it's this type of thinking that not only results in people like this stealing people's life savings out from under them. But it pushes them to the edge of becoming a cold-blooded sociopath. To where they are very capable of viciously ending someone's life. For their narcissistic gain. But enjoying the entire process. Look. It's easy to say. We should know better. And maybe we should. Maybe we should. But at the same time. This woman behind me doesn't look evil. She doesn't look like a bad person. She looks like if she offered to help you. You would take her at her word that is what she is trying to do. And if someone looks so innocent and kind. That means she could scam someone in a romantic relationship. That means if she's a mother to children. Her children are going to grow up in a horrible home. And it's people like Cecilia Brown that cause normal people to not have trust in anyone ever again. They are the reason why marriage rates are down. And people are lonely. Because you just don't know what you're going to get. This elderly person thought she made a new friend. But instead she got ripped off. I hope this woman is caught soon. And when she is. We'll talk more about this story. Because she not only stole this innocent woman's money. But she stole her trust. Well that's all I have for today. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.